Steve, how many hypnosis sessions can you perform in one day? Okay, great question. So if you're, uh, you know, we're talking about uh, office sessions. We're talking about someone comes into an office, to my office, they're seeing me. Now my first session is two hours. I'm going to spend two hours with the client. So if I've got an eight hour work day and I need about an hour for lunch and to kind of, you know, get my wits about me, clear out my, my brain from everything I've been listening to, because you listen to some fairly heavy situations. Uh, so you need a little bit of time in the middle to kind of decompress. So I've got an eight hour day, take out an hour for lunch. Now it's a seven hour day. So I've got seven hours available. My sessions are in one of two uh, categories, either two hours for the first session where we spend an hour uh, in the pre-talk, getting to know them, getting me, getting them comfortable with me, getting me comfortable with helping them. Everyone's on the same page. I'm educating them about hypnosis. The second hour is devoted to the actual hypnotherapy session. Okay, so that's a two, that's two hours taken out of the seven hours. So it just becomes math. I can have a certain number of two hour uh, segments and a certain number of one hour segments and I can mix and match but at no time will that number exceed seven. So as many as I can get in I can have seven one hour sessions or three two hour sessions and one um, one hour session uh, depending on the way I've structured my day. So the most the, the, the largest number of sessions I would have in one day would be seven sessions. That would be back-to-back -back sessions uh, seeing someone, uh, you know, everything going like clockwork, this client leaves, I have a short restroom break or a glass of water break, I'm, I'm back in action seeing the next client and so forth. A lot of people uh, structure their sessions in what's called the therapist hour, which is a 50 minute hour. So you have a 50 minute session, 50 minutes with a client, 10 minutes after that where you're not seeing them, it ends at the 50 minute mark, then it's time for a restroom, returning phone calls, texting, or whatever you have to do in your regular life. Then you get back into it, another 50 minutes, another 10 minute break at the end. That's kind of nice. I don't, I don't do that officially because I don't want to limit someone like that. I want, to, uh, I want them to know the full hours available. However, I will usually have them in, the, in subsequent sessions, I will have them in and out within 50 to 55 minutes. That's just usually the way it works out.